Hey everybody, this is John Sombrano, and today I want to ask you guys a question. What is the Latin definition for the word punch? Let me give you a hint. <laughs> so stay tuned, and I'll give you the answer. All right, guys. The reason why uh, why I did that is because the mindset that I want you guys to have when you're fighting out there in the street is very important. Okay, it's a lot different than the boxing mindset, which is more sport oriented. All right, now. The definition for punch in the Latin is to stab, okay, like with a knife, okay. So every time you're fighting out there in a street fight, you got to remember, guys, that you're not just punching, you're stabbing them with your knife. You know, these are your weapons, okay. This is why at the end of usually of all my videos, I always tell you my little motto is don't just, don't just punch them, punch, don't just hit them, punch a hole through them. And the reason why I'm telling you that is I want you to, have, to develop that mindset of stabbing these guys with your fists, okay? And it's very dangerous on the street, so when you fight with somebody, you've got to think about that and have that mindset when you're fighting, okay? When you go to the gym and you start boxing, put your gloves on and spar and everything, that's, you know, it's good, get conditioned and everything, get comfortable hitting. But the thing is, you have to have that mindset that these are your weapons and these are your blades when you're hitting somebody and you're stabbing them, you're trying to punch a hole through them, okay? so. This is why I do this, and this is the mindset I want you guys to cultivate while you're training, okay? So just always remember when you're training and you're sparring and hitting and punching the bag or focus mitts or whatever it is you're training, is to remember that mindset that these are your blades and they're used to stab and destroy the enemy. All right, now that we've gone over a little bit about mindset and how to use your hands um, as far as using them as blades, the next thing I want you guys to go over and remember is the position of the fist. Now I've done other videos on how the positions of different kinds of positions of fists, okay? So you can just look on, the, on my YouTube channel and you can find those different videos. But the most important thing I want to tell you is when you're fighting in the street, you want to keep your fist in a diagonal position, okay? Diagonal. Because diagonal is the most dangerous position to put somebody in when you're striking, okay? It causes a lot of internal damage, it fits the contours of the body and the face, and it's a more dangerous way of punching. Okay, when your life is on the line, keep your hands in a diagonal position when you're striking. It's also the most natural way to punch, so it becomes very simple when you're throwing that strike. Okay? And like I said, it works very well internally for destroying somebody's ribs, getting into the solar plexus, the abdominals, the kidneys, you know, the solar plexus, like I said, uh, the liver, the spleen. This is going to be able to tear it up like that. Okay? So diagonal is the best way to do it when you're fighting and when it's, your life is on the line. So do it that way and cultivate again that mindset of using these as blades to cut through your enemy and be like a surgeon and cut through your opponent, okay? So remember that. Keep them diagonal and think of them as your blades. All right, guys. Another thing I want you guys to think about is when you train and practice your strikes, okay? I want you guys to get comfortable, practice them, you know, hitting, hitting the bag or hitting focus space with your partners, you know, with your hands down at your sides or, you know, maybe arms crossed, your hand like the Jack Benny style, you know. You need to hit from where you're going to be at, okay. You're not going to be, you know, walking around all day long with your fists up like this like a fighter, you know. You're always usually going to have your hands down, walking, going from place to place. So you got to learn how to strike with your hands down because that's the most natural position you're going to have when you're walking and going through your daily life, okay? So practice when you come in the gym, fighting with your hands down. And what I mean by that, walk to the bag and just start with your strikes from right here, from, from your hands down, and go and start attacking the bag with your hands down, okay? Or you just, well, I will never tell you to cross your arms this way. If you're going to cross, this way is the best way, because if you cross them like this, all you got to do is put pressure right here on both your hands and you can't move them, all right? Then you get your ass beat. You know, this is how I used to get guys all the time, this way, you know. So keep them this way. If anything, they push, you can at least slip that hand out to be able to strike somebody, okay? So again, practice with your arms down or maybe carrying something or act, the act of carrying something, you know, get a tie bag, like you're carrying a bag of groceries, and drop it and start going at the bag or maybe a partner. Get comfortable learning how to do that because that's what you're most likely going to be doing, you know, through your routine in life. So practice that. And this is the way that you'll be able to fight. Maybe you're at a party, you have a cup of glass of uh, something to drink, you know, and, you know, you don't want to spill it. But you know what? Spill it on them and then go right after them and hit them, okay? So these are the type of things you want to learn how to do because this is what you're going to be doing out there in the street anyways. So learn how to do that, and then it'll make you a better fighter 
because you're not going to be used to putting up your hands, you know, to fight. You'll be fighting with your hands down. They won't even notice when you do it, okay? So it's the best way to um, spring a surprise attack on the enemy when they're trying to get you with your hands down. So try that. Train it. Again, cultivate that mindset of, you know, these are your blades. Cut them up and turn your hands diagonal and make you a better street fighter and be ready for the enemy. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. And I just wanted to kind of like briefly go over the information that we did, just went over. Again, cultivating that mindset, okay, of these are blades, not just fists. Punching a hole through the guy, okay, trying to drive these things right through him, all right? Turning your hand in a diagonal position, okay, and getting comfortable punching that way. Training with your hands down, getting used to, you know, like as if you were walking around, you know, and learning how to strike from those positions. You need to learn how to strike from wherever your hands are. You can't afford to lift your hands up into a fight position when the fight's already on and then you were surprise attack. You gotta go from where you're at where you're at. And if you're carrying some, you gotta get used to dropping it and just go. Okay? No time for thinking, you just gotta do. Alright? So I hope this information will help you, especially for a street fight. And again, I, it's more, this, is, this information is more oriented for the guys that are going to be out in the street, not for much, so much for boxing, okay? But you can use some of this information, you know, to train for your boxing, but it's really for self-defense and for, you know, any th anytime that anybody attacks you out in the street to get you ready to do that, all right? So until next time, this is Daniel Sobrano telling you, don't just hit them, punch a hole through them. Take care, and we'll talk to you later.